Okay, guys, we are back in Act 5. In the... What is it? Tower's Torment questline. Yeah, the Reliquary. Let's do this. Let's have some fun here. Right, golems? Little golems. Let's see. What, 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 is, what is the case here? You are summoning some crazy shit, sir. Why is he not dying? Oh, he's actually not dead. Nice. Instilling orb, yeah. Oh, there's another. Okay. Still like to see a, a good staff drop, to be honest. But who knows? Why do you keep with the shield <laughs> when nothing happens? Or maybe a, a chest with six slots would be be really nice to be honest yeah would be good as well so i can get my damage spell powered up that would be cool oh little casters fucking with me everybody gets electrified Oh, all goldies. Two stone ring. Nice. Oh wow. So good. I love love chain lightning. I love lightning spells. <laughs> oh. Where do you want to run? Don't run away. Don't run away. Oh, more crafting recipes. Chess. Who are you? <laughs> Off you go. Nice. Okay. Oh, and strong boxes. Accuracy, okay. It's not that useful for me. Sword. Come on, die. Fighting claw. And we can level up the gems. Great. Oh, we have that. <laughs> Let's see, what is here? Carrier. A what? Kitava. Who's Kitava, actually? I think I did not get that. Arohongui, daughter of the moon, was preparing for a feast to celebrate Tsukuhama's return from uh, his war on the first ones of the Ezemites. Uh, what? Tafor, son of the forest, asked each of the birds to sacrifice one of their kind for the feast. Oh, that's he gave the thing to ask. To Arohongui. <laughs> They actually did it. Great <laughs> firestone pit. Seeing all of those plump birds cooking made Kitava very hungry. Oh, she's the devourer. To watch them, to make sure they didn't burn while Arohongui rested during the heat of the day. 
Uh. <laughs> Aro Hongui thanked Kitava for his kindness, but while she slept, Kitava ate the cooking birds, flesh, bones, gizzards, <laughs> and all. Upon yeah, too hungry. King, too hungry. Aro Hongui <laughs> was furious to find that Kitava had lied to her for saying that he would watch the birds when he truly intended to eat them all up. <laughs> when Tukohama arrived home in his mighty canoe, Aro Hongui asked him to punish Kitava for his selfish gluttony. Oh no. Tukohama and Kitava, of War Kitava agreed and pulled the sharpest tooth from his own mouth. Okay. He then asked Arohongui and Tafor to hold Kitava fast while he cut Kitava's face with the tooth. Whoa. Two slashes that blinded Kitava and formed a bleeding cross upon his face. Okay. From that day forth, Kitava would never <laughs> be able to promise to watch that which he truly intended to confirm. Okay. Oh, we get the tooth. Oh, cool. So we need that. I mean, this is a this is a side quest, right? So we not might not really need that. Bom, 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 bom. Those things they remind me a lot of those enemies in. Um, In Elden Ring, those spirits, really annoying enemies that, that were really, really strong. <laughs> Maybe it's because of the somewhat leg hands. Oh, what is that? Seriously, what is that? Full of wisdom. They are called reliquarians. Hmm. Interesting, I say. Yeah, they die so quickly. The normal ones die really quickly. Like the the normal normal yellow ones. Sulfur flask. What does it do? Uh, I have to check that. I think I did I have a sulfur flask before. What is that? Forty percent increased. Are you kidding me? Whoa! It creates consecrated ground. Allies on your consecrate regenerate percentage of the maximum life per second. Curse of s oh wow, that is. Like, that is really good. 40% increased damage is crazy. Yes. Oh my god. That's a huge damage buff. Wonder if I can enchant that. Ooh. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I, I hadn't much to do with bots, actually, to be honest. Just using them for... Yeah, fun. I, I I always have the the best uh, pot equipped for life and mana, but I was not doing that much with uh, resistance orbs so far. Just have them. <laughs> we'll have to learn about that still. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. I mean, forty percent increased damage is. is it's great. Oh, it has only one charge. I would consume. Okay, consumes forty of sixty charges. Okay. But how long? How long do we have it? It's for ten seconds. Eight seconds. Okay. Wow. That's not much. I would need a lot more charges. If I want, wanted to use it more frequently.
My mana is a bigger problem right now. Come on, bye. Colossal Hybrid Flask. Colossal Hybrid Flask? Okay. Great. Too much clutter. Already, yeah. Well. Oh, this is one of the good helmets. Just read that comment. What is this? Oh, that's the truth. Hey, let's go back quickly. Sell. What is that doing? 690 life. Oh, 200 mana. Okay. Portal scroll. Hello. Let's see. Actually, it does. Oh, that is crazy. Two stone rings. Hmm. Don't know if I need those. Oh, I have those as well. Existing enchantment. Okay. Maybe I try that out on the flask. Yeah. Oh, nice. Sanctified? I don't think I use that combination things. Oh, cool. Well, that's so cool. Okay, let's, let's actually... I got a prismatic ring. Oh, because I sold the right amount of items. Reuse at the end of this flask's effect. Oh, so I get it two times in a row. If I have the charges. Okay. Let's try another and see what if we get something else. Use when you become poisoned. It's not that useful. You don't have another of those. Yeah. Use when you hit a rare unique enemy if you're not already in effect. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. That's really useful. Like when I deal more damage right off the bat. Ooh. Freedom comes to those who. Let's have a look in here. Okay, I can buy another big mana flask. And I could actually get... wait. It's four. I can get bigger life flasks as well if I buy those. Yeah. <coughs> Bam. Oh. Change positions. Okay. Let's see, do you I'll see what I can do for you? Have something good for me? Not really. <clears throat> what about here? Hmm. You want energy shield? That's not a lot. Uh, serpent scale gauntlets. Doesn't really help it. Okay. Don't ever give up. No, I don't. Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's go on. That is cool. Oh, also we have to level up, right? Also, I want to see for a moment. What's this doing? Convergence. Okay. Six percent. Okay. So I have a bigger chance of hitting someone. Affected. <coughs> minus the affected resistance. Oh. Okay, what was that one? It's always ignite. So, least effect buffs. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. Primary ages can take for allocated notable passive skill. Can take reflected elemental damage. It's always shock. That's actually great. Box from your hits always increase damage taken by at least fifteen percent. All damage can shock. Wow. All effect of lightning limes if you inflict with hits. The highest damage type is lightning. That is actually great. I think I will have that one for sure. Oh, 
still have to make a point. Yes. What level are we by now? 51. Okay. Let's have this. Hands. Superior war axe. Did I put the stuff away? I did not. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Okay. We're not here before. Oh yeah. Okay. Wait. Let's go this way. When I'm ready, and not before. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. What are these things around me? There's something swirling around me, and I don't know what it is. Hmm. Mm. Oh, another quest, another quest. Ooh. Dead. Green Aini Chorus Ring Superior bl Superior Blood Rage. Okay. To Kohama, our father of war, and Valak. Okay, I'm gonna read that faster while he's talking. Mother of dear. Blah blah blah. Okay, now I'm gonna let, let him talk to while I run on greedy Kitava. For surely their tribe would starve if Kitava continued to live among them. Up. But Hinekora refused. For death would not teach Kitava the lesson he needed to learn. Okay. Instead, oh no, poor Kitava. Kitava with a whip woven of her own hair. Oh, that's great. Was a searing lash, and so he wore thousands and thousands of blistering lashes across his back. Uh. As Hinekora huh? drove him relentlessly into the darkest corner of the underworld. <clears throat> okay, so she since you, him to Ital was banned. Without water or food for the rest of eternity. Alako's jaw. And then Kitava remained. Darkness of Hinekora's night clad island, for time beyond measure. There he suffered, waiting for the day that he could return oh, Kitawa's a heap. Light, to slake his scorching thirst and satiate his ravening hunger. That sounds good. To replace the feast of birds that Kitava had greedily consumed when fishing to Kohama, our father of war, mm. and Valako, father of storm, went fishing. Although Kitava was blind, he could still cast his line and feel when a fish hit all of the bait, of course, yeah. So to Kohama <coughs> and Valako took him with them oh, on to Kohama's used him as bait. canoe. Oh my god. But while they fished, Kitava grew hungry and secretly ate all of their Yeah, of course, she, and he ate all the fish. Disgusted and angry, Tukohama and Valako decided to use Kitava as bait yeah. instead. And then they wanted to punish her, of course. That's like it always goes, right? Hey, okay, let's see. Hey, Lani. All slaves believe. Oh, we're going to skill point and two passive respect points. Ooh. Yes. So sell stuff. Uh. All right. For freedom. Gonna keep that for now. And that goes here. Um. Another skill point. Please make some mana, mana shield, cost of skills, mana for energy shield. Yep. Nice. Those of runes. Hmm. 
That's actually useful. It cannot be chilled or frozen. But as long as I have the aura, I'm immune to freeze or chill. Okay. Um, I have to 